Hey everybody, this is Dan. And today I'm here at this lithium facility to discover how we can utilize Providence and other on-chain solutions to tokenize lithium and create a more sustainable lithium mining chain. Now this, my friends, is where it all happens. It's a pool meant to hold the brine of lithium before it is processed. All these different parts are parts of the operation, and these operations sometimes might have several different parties interested in them. So there is a chance to tokenize and fractionalize different parts of this operation, as well as the lithium itself that comes out of this facility could be tokenized, basically utilized as an RWA. You can make sure that things are done in a sustainable way, make sure that there's no pollutants seeping out, make sure that this is processed in a sustainable way. And again, all this happens through the use of on-chain traceability, and on-chain IoT devices. Basically, this facility is used for separating and filtering out pollutants and creating a more purified liquid so that liquid can be processed in that adjacent facility and mixed in with sodium carbonate. Is that correct? Yeah. So it starts right here. Yeah. All right, so you start right here, you mix it, and then you store it in these big cisterns. Is that correct? Yeah, so this is what it gets mixed with. This is uh, sodium carbonate. The centrifuge separates it into basically the substance that are used in batteries. Everything that we see in our phones and cars, uh, basically everywhere, even that camera that's filming this right now is using lithium. Yeah. Here right behind me, you can see the finished product. There are several different types of lithium for various different applications. These are ready to ship to be utilized in pretty much anything electronic that you see today. So basically what you're saying is you're only, you can only see part of the process, right? You can't see the whole process. No. And no. Uh, th there's not there's not enough transparency in the process. No, because they, I don't have information. Okay. Like for example, last week I stayed with the chemical engineers. I said, please give me information. I can't. Give, yeah. me, a, give me a flow sheet because I, I, I need to read, I need to understand what the first step, the second to go to final step. I can't. Hmm. Now, what is the reason for that, do you think? It's just because... I don't know. You have a lot of maintenance. In... Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of maintenance costs here, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't understand. I believe that each one of these steps, if outfitted with a very simple IoT device, can provide a lot more transparency into how this product has been processed, literally from the start of the mixture, to storage, to mixing it with, with the brine that comes in that contains the lithium. So basically creating sort of a step-by-step -step quality assurance blueprint to make sure that this lithium is created in a sustainable way, to make sure that various different laws are followed, make sure that it is done in an environmentally a sound way. It's basically good all around because with the help of provenance, with the help of IoT devices, with the help of traceability, uh, what you're going to get is a more superior product and with more transparency, you're going to be able to open it up to a wider market. <music> 